All right, hi everyone. We are here today in Studio Bravo with Nikita from Filmotechnic Canada. He was kind enough to come and talk to us a little bit about this piece of gear that's right behind me. This is the Filmotechnic scissor crane that we have now here available to rent at 2D House. Whether you're either shooting in one of our studio spaces or uh, on location, uh, this uh, piece of gear can now be deployed. And uh, Nikita was kind enough to come here and talk to us a little bit about what it can do uh, and some of the uh, capabilities. So thank you for uh, joining us today. Thank you for having me. So for those who have never even seen something like a scissor crane, tell me uh, what it is and what it can do. Right, so the idea is uh, to build a simple jib that's mm -hmm. easy to use, okay. but you still have the telescopic ability. Mm -hmm. It's very light, okay. it's very mobile. Yep. You can get it into elevators and bring it up to like your condo even, okay. or the roof. Uh, you can put it, put it in, like you can bring it into the forest, you can bring it into locations where a regular crane with a big base will not go. Right. And it's not just a jib, it also telescopes. Great. So just to, to sort of clear out the sort of nitty gritty technical details that everyone always is curious about, uh, let me know, t tell me about uh, like what's the reach uh, at its sort of furthest, what's its most compact, how much payload can it take? Right. So it will go from three and a half feet when it's uh, completely retracted. Okay all the way to 16 feet, so you have about 13 and a half feet of travel. Okay. Um, it will go to 16 feet height. Okay. Um, that's on the, the, on the standard base. Right. But it is Mitchell, right? It is Mitchell okay. base, so you can put it on a dolly, you can okay. put it on anything else. Okay, gotcha. Um, the standard base does have wheels, but it's more so to go from A to B. Gotcha. So perfect for studio in this case. In the studio, play, right. yeah, it's, okay. it's ideal. Right. In, I don't know if you necessarily do moves like that. Right. If you wanted to do moves, you got to put it on the track, put it on the dolly, right. no problem. Um, and then it's made out of carbon fiber? Right, the okay. arm is carbon fiber, it's okay. very light, it's 70 pounds, okay, great. without the weights and the, and the head. Right. So when you build the crane, only yep. two guys do it very, very easily. Right, and just for some, it's just so, because it's probably not apparent if you're looking at it, it is a me mechanical design, right? It's fully mechanical, okay. so you pull to yourself, okay. it extends, okay. you, you push, it right. retracts. So there's, there's no electronics, quiet. very quiet, okay. nothing to break. I mean, okay. it can go into snow, yeah. rain, dust. There's nothing that really can break it. There's no electronic glitches, there's no power. Right. You don't need power to it. You, you do need to power the head, okay. but the crane itself does not need anything. So on the topic of heads, uh, talk to me a little bit of what kind of options can we expect to sort of see on the end of this uh, crane. So. Flyhead Mini is one of the options, which yes. comes from Filmotechnic. Right. It's built by us. Um, we have different sizes of it. This is the Mini 3, okay. which is the bigger Mini. Okay. Uh, we have the smaller ones as well. But um, when production looking at saving costs, mm -hmm. you can go Movi or you mm -hmm. can go Ronin. Okay. And you can rent those from you guys, from right. 2D House. Right. Or if they want to save even more money, if the DP owns their own Movi, right. put it on there so you only need the crane. We talked about, so the end, uh, we talked about a little bit of the, the Mitchell uh, base. What kind of uh, other platforms have you guys put it on in your experience of using it? I know you guys had it in a vehicle at one point. And right, we, we've had it on an electric cart. Okay. Um, it works well. Um, again, you, you need that Mitchell base somewhere on the cart. Right. Um, and uh, in like in a studio, in, in a, like if it's a good asphalt road, it's mm -hmm. not a problem. You're obviously not going to go off-road. Right. That will be too crazy right. with this. Uh, but if it's smooth, no problem. It will, it will, do, uh, it will do that, no problem. Awesome. And uh, in Europe, that's a very, very popular option. They do use it like that on electric carts and they move get around. shots in the studio and move around. It's very nice. So someone watching this who maybe is a little bit familiar with cranes and jibs, and the telescoping nature of it will immediately think of Technocrane, which is obviously a little bit of a different tool, but because it's, it's going to be an immediate comparison in a lot of people's heads, talk to me about um, the difference between this and, and Techno and maybe where this is a better option. Right, so it's obviously not as precise as Technocrane, okay. um, and it all depends on the operator, mm -hmm. whereas you know, Technocrane has smart software you can do like the perfect lines up down left right mm -hmm. whereas here it all depends on the operator right. um, but it's fraction of a cost okay it's very light mm -hmm. it will get into places where the techno cannot okay and and that's the whole idea of it. right 
So I know you guys have sort of done some stuff with it. Maybe talk to me some stories of where you guys have taken it, maybe some, some unique shots that you couldn't have gotten otherwise without, without this piece of gear. Right, one of the cool places was uh, in Montreal. Uh, they put it on a, a small pontoon mm -hmm. out on the lake. Um, and we're getting shots from the lake uh, right. jibbing up mm -hmm. and um, you couldn't use anything else. Right. It was, anything else was basically too heavy. Mm -hmm. um, we used it going through doors, windows, um, for fun in the shop when we just got it. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, put it through the car, through the doors right. and did that. Um, so that's where Movi is actually a great option for this because it's a little bit smaller profile than a flyhead. Mm -hmm. And you can really like get sort of things that are, you wouldn't think it's, it's possible. Amazing. And then in terms of power, obviously we've talked about the fact that it is mechanical, so the arm itself doesn't need power. What are some other connection things that uh, you might have to take into account for? Right, so um, on the arm we have a loom with uh, four cables, two mm -hmm. BNCs mm -hmm. and uh, two power cables, mm -hmm. 12 volt and 24, so okay. four pin and three pin. Okay. Um, like I said, the crane does not need any power. Mm -hmm. uh, for if you're using Flyhead uh, Mini from us, you'll need 24 volts, okay. which you can put the battery at the base, right. and uh, the cable's already there, okay. you plug it in. Uh, for Movi, you have the batteries on the head. Right. Um, the only thing you'll need to power is camera, uh, unless you want to run it with the onboard battery. Right. If your shooter sort of think about weight often as a body and a lens combination, uh, what kind of combinations have you put on this particular head? Right, um, so the, um, the crane itself will take about 80 pounds of okay. uh, weight at the nose. Okay. That includes the head. Yep. Uh, with the, flathead, the flathead mini itself will take up to 24 to 290 with uh, like a okay. small Alexa. Okay. But that's too much for this crane. Mm. Um, we recommend 17 to 80 being yep. maximum. Okay. So 5 to 1 zoom, no yep. problem. Okay. You can have your f full size Alexa. Right. Um, reds, obviously, no yep. problem. Yep. Primes, no problem. Right. Uh, l longer than 100 mil gets a bit too heavy. But any, but you know, we're talking about a telescopic jib here, anyway. So you exactly. probably want to be on a wider lens exactly. to really feel that move. Yeah. So something like a 1780, actually, uh, Optimo would be perfect. That's what, that's what we find. That's but, yeah. Optimo. Especially, especially in sort of the context of our, the spaces here at 2D. All right, guys. So that's the scissor crane. I want to thank Nikita from Filmotechnic Canada for coming in to talk to us a little bit about the system. If people are looking to find out more about Filmotechnic Canada, where can they find you? You can find us on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube as Filmotechnic Canada. And they can also go to our website, filmotechnic-canada.ca. All right, guys. So if you have any questions about the crane or want to even come check it out in person, the crane will be living here at 2D House. Just give us a call and we'd be more than happy to show it to you. In the meantime, uh, stay tuned for more videos and we'll talk to you soon.